to some more Rock League action here for your Saints. Sorry about all the little, all the delays. We are just getting in action here now. And uh, I mean, man, uh, so many things went wrong there. Update, you know, some PC issues, whatnot. Finally getting the schedule to fit right. But we are here and we are here now. Kermit, how are you feeling about this one? Oh man, finally we get to cast some Rock League 45 minutes later, but we're here. And you know, this should be a great match. Like I said earlier, I, I predict I'm um, predicting game five. So uh, let's hope uh, maybe maybe Saints can surprise us. Yeah, I'm gonna give a little bit of a recap here as a lot of these new viewers are in here from when we cut the break just uh, about 20, 30 minutes ago. But Tone scores! That is going to be a one nothing lead for the side of Seton Hall. But uh, as I was saying, quick little recap here for you viewers uh, tuning in. This is a massive game for seeding for the CCA Summer Series playoffs right around the corner. We have two games left in the season. Every team plays 11 games. We're currently at a three-way tie for second uh, with seven and two teams. And then a first place team at eight and one being Northwood Blue. And uh, so overall, all these teams are fighting for seeding in the top four. And uh, I mean, uh, this that that's why this game is absolutely massive at this point in time. So Seton Hall with an early goal in this one really gets setting themselves up nicely. Yeah, Saints are going to try and do something here. Comp almost gets a flip reset, but nothing there. But uh, like you said, is this is a massive game. And especially like there's one more game after this for both teams. And he, he, if you move on from this game with a win for either team, that's huge momentum. You're trying to get the best position possible, which I believe is second second place in the standings. As Jay gets a shot on net here, but it goes just off the crossbar. Gets another shot, but a big save. Yeah, nice, nice play off the rebound, though, overall. I mean, it was a really good effort shot there. Comp, another one. An amazing effort from the guys right now, but uh, just not enough to go through the net. And, uh, you know, this is the offensive pressure I was talking about that I would like to see from them in this pregame. And uh, I'm seeing it come to light here early in this one. Uh, unfortunate for the guys over the Saints, for the Seton Hall guys to be above, but Seton Hall, they've been playing a great game of Rock League so far in these first couple of minutes. And they're going to keep up with that, playing great defense, playing great offense. Both sides of the ball, they're looking phenomenal as third. That was a nice pass to Tone for that shot on net. And Saints got lucky there. And, I mean, both teams had their opportunity here to, uh, you know, score. And oh. Seton Hall had their chance to go up by two. And Saints had a chance to tie it. But defense right now for both teams is uh, really good. As Saints going to get an opportunity here, but not a good enough hit. But Spoods. Keeps the pressure on. Comp Ooh. just whips. Jay's oh. there. Put a shot on net, but Tone's there to make a save as they try and clear it. But Comp trying to keep it up. Spoots is up in the air. Gets it off the crossbar. And nothing's going for the Saints right now. That's going to be a shot just wide, but Jay's there to stop it at midfield. Yeah, but that is the offensive pressure that I did say I wanted to see. Whether those shots are going in or not, they're keeping those shots on net and they're keeping the pressure on. They got the offensive time and possession in their favor right now. Uh, and when we saw the one missed shot there, I believe it was a very sneaky DP like fake and uh, it didn't work out to their liking, but it was very, very close to it. Nice pass and it connects! Comp and Jay, the duo, they are going to find one in the back of the net. Your St. Clair Saints going to tie this one up at one apiece with a minute and 52 seconds remaining. Nice little, you know, later goal here in this game to tie things up. Now the next goal, absolutely crucial for whatever side scores. I don't know if that was intentional or if he just whipped on that ball, but I mean, it works out in Saints' favor and they tie this up as... The pressure from the Saints in that little period of time was uh, really good, and they need to continue that as that's going to be almost a pass out front, but uh, crosses the crease a little too high and a little too Ooh. fast as Saints take it, takes advantage of this, tries to clear it, but Tom trying to get something started. And again, oh, no. back and forth game. Yeah, so now this is a really good opportunity there for the side of Seton Hall. It does not go their way, but they're keeping this one in St. Clair territory. I'm a little concerned for the guys, but they do manage to clear it. Jay going to be the one taking it into the offensive zone. Now, can they keep it there? Spoods trying to play off it as well, but this is a pass play, and this is a wide open net. St. Clair got way too aggressive on that offensive position. Really opened up that net for Seton Hall. As you can see here, it just, they just beat all the Saints. Comp and Jay racing to the net, but it doesn't go. Huge goal for Stokely. And that is one for Seton Hall that might put this game away, to be completely honest. Three goals in the first four minutes. There's only a minute remaining. This is anybody's game. Yeah, I mean, it's only one goal. So Saints have, do have uh, 60 seconds to work with. But, I mean, 
Uh, they need to put on some pressure fairly quickly. I wouldn't want to stay it. down by one, but big shot there oh. and another big shot and back to back huge saves as Tone's no. going to get a shot on net and that's going to put him up by two. Wow, it's the overextending right now from the Saints. I mean, they, they get two phenomenal shots that just look like they're going to go and you get to that point and they, they both get rebounded and you're like, okay, well, now we have three players fully committed on the ball and, uh, you know, they're running with it to our end and it's going to result in another, you know, uh, over-rotate goal there for the side of Seton Hall and uh, they're going to go up three to one here with only 40 seconds remaining. The Saints oh. got to put on some amazing pressure and right now, like, they have to get a goal in this next 10, 6, 10 15 seconds. Yeah, that was an amazing pinch by by the Saints there. It was just wide of the net, but they have 30 seconds to work with to score two goals and can't seem to get it out front. This is a best of five series, so losing game number one isn't too bad if you can take game number two. But again, you don't want to go out without trying as that's going to be a pass to Comp. Comp can't redirect that as they have nine seconds left. Gets a shot on goal. Big oh save. Goodness. Wow. So Seton Hall looking like they're going to come out on top here in this one. Final score will be 3-1. to one. Seton Hall coming out on top over the Saints. Now with the 1-0 series lead as well. And as Danner said in chat there on the Twitch one, um, I mean, the saves from Seton Hall blowing my mind right now. Uh, I mean, you, you see them just fire away shots at like crazy speeds. Like these are not shots that are floating in where you have lots of time to react for it and save it. These are shots that are firing in very, very fast. And they're pulling off some phenomenal saves. Got to give huge props to Seton Hall for that. St. Clair probably won the time of possession there, time in possession. And they might have even had more shots than Seton Hall. And uh, Seton Hall still put up a three to one scoreline over them. And you got to give a props for it's due for that one. Yeah, it was definitely uh, Seton Hall with seven saves that game. So that's just insane on 12 shots. And I mean, they only letting St. Clair put one in the back of the net is huge for the, their momentum. But if you're Saints, you definitely have to put that game away and, you know, try to score the first goal in this game and keep the lead and try to put a little bit of a cushion on. Yeah, I completely agree with you there on that one, Kermit. So Spoods looking to get this one started early, but he will drop it down to comp, but doesn't work out how they planned. That actually does go in favor of Seton Hall, and they have a great, great opportunity. They find top right corner, and that is Stoke Ellie finding his second of the night, I believe. And uh, you're, you're, oh man, Seton Hall, they're putting on a clinic right here, right now, uh, finding yet another goal. I mean, Saints finding things very difficult right now. And uh, this is a very important game for the Saints. You do not want to be put in a position where you have to reverse sweep. I mean, we've seen it only once. So, you know, doing it again is un unlikely, but it is possible. But again, like I said earlier, you definitely want to take game two and tie this series. Uh, makes it a little bit easier on you as that's a shot on goal, but a big save by Stokely. Yeah, one thing you can kind of see the, the play style from Seton Hall here is crowd the net, stack the defensive line, you know, when it goes into the same zone, when we get our offensive opportunities, you know, we'll, we'll keep a player around midfield and put two on the offense or three on the offense. But uh, whenever Saints get control of the ball, as soon as they get control of the ball, it's like a set and hold triple stack in the net and the Saints just cannot get around it. Yeah, I mean, that's going to oh. be a shot on goal and Jay put, ties the game from a pass from Spoods. And that I went mean, over set and all. Right yeah, here. that's... Again, went off that's them. a 50-50. That's the 50-50 wins, and I mean, you take advantage of those, and now you have a tie game with uh, a lot sooner than it was last game, and now you, now you want to definitely try and get a goal for your St. Clair, and I mean, both teams, really. Yeah, I got to agree with you there on that one. So, still a one-to-one -one scoreline. Both teams want that goal. That was an amazing shot, but look at these saves. Like, I'm actually mind-blown right now. The Seton Hall might have given me some of the best saves i've seen uh consistency wise in a while uh in rocket league here especially in the cca um and so now it's still a one-to-one -one game we still have lots of time to go if i'm in the saints right now i'd say my biggest thing is to not overextend lots of demos coming through but uh yeah as i was saying biggest thing for me right now don't overextend on these plays yeah yeah you don't want to double or triple commit so like i mean last game they we're only down by one and then they're a triple commit. But again, that's going to be a shot on goal and big save there by Comp. And I mean, offense from both teams have been oh. excellent. And that's going to be froze with a shot on the goal. And 
I don't know who is in... Jay's couldn't get there in time. I think he was expecting Comp to save that, but... Uh, yeah, that's I mean, that, that's got to be like a little bit of a miscommunication, I'm thinking, on uh, St. Clair's part there. Uh, it looked pretty promising for a save, but it did not go. So now at this point in time, we're about halfway through things. Two to one score lines, and that's going to be uh, set and haul right back on the attack. 3-1, Tone racks up another goal. Again, these 50-50s that you win. This 50-50 right here is clutch win. And they put them up themselves up with two by two with uh, half the game left. So Saints definitely need to find something here. And I mean, the offense and defense from Seton is just absolutely insane and consistent. So they are putting up a fight. And I mean, they want the second place in the standings. Yeah, I'm going to have to completely agree with you on that one. And uh, uh, this is a big one for St. Clair. I mean, we emphasize how important this game two already is, considering them being down 0-1. Um, but it's just getting more and more important every goal that Seton scores at this point in time. You do not want to let them get off with this game on this momentum that they have right now. You have to find the back of the net a couple more times, rack up your own momentum. And uh, even if you don't come on top in this game, you got to close in the score lineup a little bit and uh, find more of a rhythm of yourself. Yeah, they definitely don't look like they've normally been playing, but again, it's early on, and I mean, this break it probably didn't help them, but again... But, but the, the, the defense from Seton Hall, what can you do if, from the Saints' perspective right now? They're firing their normal shots on net. They're playing kind of their normal aggressive play style. Uh, oh my god. Oh, he, popped, he just scored on his own net. He just scored on his own net so hard, and he, it was a complete accident. I mean, he was just driving. He didn't even see that ball. Oh, never mind. That was... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he was... didn't even see that ball coming and just came out of his peripheral vision and boom, shot in the net. St. Clair Saints only trail by one minute 40 remaining. This game just completely got flipped on its head. Yeah, if you want to talk about a lucky goal, that's what it is. And I mean, that you don't don't expect that to happen uh, any, any more times. It's oh, Seton's no. going to get a shot here, but Spoods is there to make a save. And what you were saying earlier is the defense from Seton is just insane. Saints have to try to pull him out of the net a little bit more maybe get um, a little bit more grind and get some more demos while the players sitting in net and open up the net so maybe something can happen something can change but this is going to be a nice redirect just off the wall going Oof. for the double touch but just missed and i believe that was spoods there to make a save and the oh. flick by jay almost ties the game yeah, just a little too high, and there was a defender there from the set of Seton Hall, just unable to go. Um, and they're just going to keep this ball on the offensive and just fire away these shots. Try to pull these defenders out of the net or, you know, get those goalie bumps uh, or whatever you can do, really, to try to open up this net a little bit more. Take these defenders out. That's the big thing right now from the set of Seton Hall. They're putting a brick wall in front of that net, being, you know, two to three players. And uh, you've you got to pull some of those players out of the net. you, you got to figure out a way how to do that. And if you're the Saints, if you can't figure out a way to do that, it's going to be very hard to come out on top in this game. Wow, what a shot from Jay. Just a little too, uh, little too high there. Yeah, they have, 20, they have 15 seconds to find a goal here. And they're going to get a shot here, but another save coming out of Seton Hall. And their defense has been consistent. And they have five seconds. They need to keep this ball up in the air, try to get something started push here it is uh to tie the series up and that's gonna be a pass over to jay jay gets a shot but a big save by cone oh. but still up in the air comp keeping the pressure on gonna get a flip but Ooh. I, mm. I thought i was gonna hit the ground but <laughs> i'm Jay's so here concerned to, jay's here i'm surprised this is still up this is still up comp gets it in the corner jay's oh no comp's there again but a big clear to that's mid gone. oh and Spoots keeps it up this is huge Jay's going to wrap that around. That's going to drop out front. Oh. And it oh touches the ground. Goodness. And Seton Hall takes a 2 nothing lead in the series. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that, that blows my mind right there. Um, <laughs> That's a really good try there from the Saints after with the game of keep it up after that, you know, the shot clock or what, whatnot you want to call it. Um, After the clock ticked down, big really good game of keep up and just because of the one goal differential they're really putting their all into that one it will not go though and it will be the side of uh seton hall and uh they're gonna take that one and it is uh, gonna be a two nothing series here for seton hall and uh if you are from the side of the saints reverse sweep time it's your only option yeah this is definitely um 
This is definitely something else. I I don't know if I was expecting this defense to come out from Seton. And last game, I mean, if Saints had 14 shots and Seton had 12 saves. So uh, they're very consistent. And uh, again, only let one goal in. Or was it two goals? Um, but again, it's definitely their strong suit is their defense. And once Saints run out of momentum on the offensive pressure, they... Uh, Seton Hall definitely takes advantage of that and makes sure they score a goal. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, and now we're just, this first goal is going to be huge, and now it's so close, pros just luckily got that good little tap on that one. Not going to go, maybe a goal for the side of Seton Hall, and it is, pros finds the back of the net, one nothing score line, and uh, that's the third time in a row now, I think that uh, Seton Hall, uh, uh, Seton Seen. Hall is, yeah, yeah Seton, Seton, Hall. It's Seton, yeah. They, for, it's like the third time they scored now all of these games that they've got that first goal on the net yeah and i mean when, when they score first they win so saints definitely need to change a few things up here and uh, again you have to break up the defense you have to break up the goalie from seton hall yeah as, as they are just ridiculously good and they're they're a brick wall so you need to definitely get some demos going on and try to open up yeah, I completely agree there on that one. I mean, I was talking about it near the end of last game, all about opening up that goal, and uh, it just isn't happening quite yet here for the Saints. It, see, the thing is, is it's really hard because you probably haven't, they probably haven't played against a team with like this exact kind of play style, um, kind of like on how they want to go about winning the game by stacking the net, playing off of the overextends and whatnot when the Saints players get frustrated by the triple net. Um, but overall, I mean, it's working out for them, and, they, that, and that's maybe how they took down those strong Northwood teams as well. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm assuming that that's how they took them down is, you know, we play defense, and then the other team gets frustrated when they can't score, and you turn the ball around, put an offensive pressure, and you penalize, you, you take advantage of that. But uh, the defense, again, that's probably their best thing right now is a uh, brick wall, and Saints are struggling against it. I completely agree with uh, you on that one. We're about halfway through this game here now. Still only a one goal game. So pretty much anything can happen. But as of now, Seton Hall going to have the upper hand on this one. Uh, I mean, the one goal advantage right now can mean so much in this game. Yeah, we've seen it before. Saints tied up, but then you kind of Seton comes back with a, with a goal of their own and takes the lead. And then they struggle from there. I don't know if it's a puts um, if they keep getting frustrated that they keep getting these quality passes and shots, but the de the Seton defense just stops them. I don't know if that's making them frustrated and they can't I mean, keep their cool or well, what's going on. Well, being down 2-0 in any series obviously frustrating. Um, you do not want to be in this position by any means whatsoever. Uh, but just to try so many times to find shots and score and it doesn't go, but this time it does. Jay, gonna tie this one up here for the Saints, a one apiece with just under two minutes remaining here in this game. And uh, that really puts some, probably some life back in that, you know, the Saints Discord call or whatever they're in right now. Really probably put some life back in there, talking about how this game is going. You're still now at a tie game, game three, winning this game, maybe finding one more goal could change so much. Absolutely. If they find one more goal and maybe push a game four, uh, that would be huge. Seaton trying to get a shot on, almost a shot on goal, and another one. And Saints coming out with some big defense, trying to keep this game tied and try to find another goal, maybe push a game four here. But that's oh, going to no. be a shot on goal and big save by Spoods. Kicks it just yeah. wide. Just Spoods, wide. really good stuff there on that save. And uh, it is going to be a minute and 20 remaining now on the clock. Uh, you know, Seton Hall just trying to find their last one to close this one out. And Saints trying to find one to stay alive. I mean, both teams are fighting for something now at this point in time. And uh, I mean, this game three just absolutely coming down to the wire. About a minute remaining on the clock. And uh, both teams putting shots on the opponent's net. Both teams getting their opportunities. This one is really so much up in the air right now that uh, you cannot predict a winner by any means. No, you cannot. And I mean, it's getting to that area where it's next goal wins, especially with how this game is going. That's going to be a shot on goal, but Comp gets a big save there. Going to try and get some food. He's going to try and block the goal. He gets a shot, and Comp's going to put it away. Saints take a one goal lead.
the goalie block worked out in their favor. See, there was a two on one and that's what the Saints had to do. They have to get rid of that goal. You have to get one of those players out of the net to open up that opportunity. They were able to do so and it results now in a two to one lead. Now at this point in time, if, I feel like if you're the Saints, do exactly what Seton Hall did. Just triple stack that net. There's not a lot of time with uh, time left. Uh, you know, just try to dump it and triple stack the net. Yeah, you definitely don't want to get too, uh, too comfortable with a one goal lead. And I mean, uh, they didn't get the contact. I thought there was a little bit of contact there, but uh, it was none. I mean, you win the 50-50s for the second time this game and the, both results and goals. So definitely something that you need to take notice of and maybe put yourself in some more 50-50s and try to get in some advantage. But five seconds left. Seton trying to find some. Jay's going to put a shot on goal. That's going to be just wide. And Saints take game three. Yeah, I mean, we're going to a game four. Uh, Saints, like we were saying there, just one goal could change their whole, you know, experience here in this series and uh, the whole scoreline of this series in general. And uh, that's exactly what we see here. Now, as we head to a game four, as we predicted in this pregame, you know, we were anticipating to see game four or a five. Uh, and that's exactly what's coming to light here now as the Saints are going and heading into game four, uh, coming off of a two to one win there. So the big thing here is, is to not get um, too worked up about not being able to find a lot of these goals. Just take advantage of the opportunities you get and keep playing your game. Because at that point in time, you have to win super low scoring games. You're not going to find a lot of goals on Seton Hall. Yeah, it's definitely, I, I do agree with you on that one. You're not going to find goals, so uh, many goals. I'd say like two or three maxes. Foods wow. gets a shot. That was from comp as he does get a, oh, he did get the double touch there. And Foods just, again, a 50-50 win that gives Saints a one goal lead. Yeah, and at this point, when you're down in the series, you'll start committing to those 50-50s more. Because, I mean, you are the you have everything to lose and they have everything to win at that point in time. And uh, so now, one nothing lead here for the Saints early. It's the first time we've actually seen them score first in this series. So that's got to be some high hopes now for the Saints in their Discord or whatever they are communicating with. And, uh, you know, they're just going to keep trying to rack up another. They're back to their normal play style, back to what they do. Um, I think they're feeling a lot better momentum wise now, and uh, they're just ready to fire some shots in the net. I can see something right now, and their rotations have changed since game one and two, and they are looking a little bit better. But again, another demo. That's their second demo in the last 40 seconds. So maybe they're trying to get a new gameplay going. Maybe try to blow up a one or two players. Try to open up that net and, and take the advantage. You, yeah, you definitely need to win this game to push a game five. And then you, that comes down to if first goal, first goal, I think, if it does go to a game five. Yeah, and it's really good stuff. Uh, out of the box thinking from the Saints, really, at this point in time, you have to do something uh, that isn't, you know, just your what you've been doing game one and two. They switch things up. They come out on top in that last game. They're like, okay, let's maybe uh, apply a little bit of what worked in last game into this game and uh, just so on and so forth throughout this whole series. And uh, it's working out pretty well for them here now. They are maintaining this one nothing lead. We're about a minute and 45 seconds of the way through things here. Now, there's another demo, the third one we've seen in the first minute and 45 seconds. And uh, yeah, it's a different play style here from the Saints. They're on a breakaway, uh, just a one-on-one. -on -one. They flick it up, trying to get spooed something, going, sends it to the corner. And that is a clear from Seton Hall. Yeah, I can see Seton, Seton Hall has been... Uh, really good, really consistent with the good, solid clearing contact. And I, I think that's what really also helps out with them winning, like with the huge game one and two wins, uh, is those massive clears. And I mean, Saints don't, I don't think Saints expect them to always get that good contact and it just sets them up for uh, something spectacular. For sure. So we're still a one goal, one goal game here, about halfway through this one. So uh, at this point in time, if you're the Saints, this one goal lead just got so much more valuable, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, the one goal lead, four and a half minutes left in the game, not as valuable as a one goal lead, two minutes left in the game, where uh, you can say, okay, we actually might be able to just hold on to this lead and maybe come out on top here. Uh, so that's what the Saints are kind of looking at right now. The more time that ticks down, better chance they have of winning 
So uh, overall, the Saints just got to keep up this strong defensive play. Yeah, they definitely don't want to sit on a one goal lead if you're the Saints. You're looking just for that, even two goals, just have that cushion. Because if they do score, then you're a tie game. But if you have that two goal lead, you have that little bit of a cushion. But uh, again, it's so tough to score against the seat and uh, line up this roster. And you have to win these games by even a one goal game. You have to win these. So. We'll see how the Saints do moving on as we come down to 90 seconds remaining. Yeah, they, you know, the time is just ticking and ticking. There's Tone answering back on the demo department, so that will be the first one on the board for Seton Hall in this one. However, the Saints uh, still holding on to that one nothing lead, trying to make it two. You see them not just fully committing to defense. You see them still going for these offensive plays. Biggest thing I could say is just don't know be the biggest mistake you can make right now is getting too aggressive on the offense just play on your shots play for those one two-man plays and uh just you know just keep the pressure on we're under a minute remaining you still have this one nothing lead just playing really good defense seems really appetizing right now for the saints yeah and i mean if you're the saints that goes right through the crease and nobody's there for the saints and again oh. Jay with a 50-50 win. That's going to be right across the crease and off the post as Seton, Seton's going to get in a, the ball here, try to slow it down, but Spoots comes from behind and blocks that. But again, Seton not giving up. 30 seconds remaining. Anything's possible. Yeah, that was really close to scoring, but Tone going to just, you know, push it away. Oh. There's a goal from Jay. 2 nothing from the hash marks and that is going to be our st Clair saints going up two to nothing here now as i was saying with just 22 seconds remaining jay with a beautiful shot beautiful goal and i think that one puts the game away and forces a game five here kermit yeah i give props to spoods there for making contact with the uh car that was gonna 50 50 um him but uh, you have 15 seconds to score two goals and if you're saints this is what you want you want a two goal lead and I mean, it, this game is done. It's a matter of if Seton is going to score one goal or if Saints are going to drop it. As I say that, that's going to touch the line on the crease and Saints take game four. Two wow. Nine. So first two, you see us out of Seton Hall. They come out on top and uh, they're going to find those first two. And uh, they, they played very well. It looked a little bit more dominant in the first two for Seton Hall. The last two... St. Clair, they really pulled up their socks, and uh, they, they really went into things now, and uh, they're going to find one or two themselves to force a Game 5 in this series, something that we very much expected in the pregame, and uh, now we're about to see it come to life, so very excited for that one to get underway. You see a little bit slower of a ready up there from Stokely. You know, you might have seen uh, you know some things talked about between these, between these uh, members on that Seton Hall roster, and, uh, you know, how they can change their play style, how the Saints have adapted, and now how can Seton Hall adapt to the adaption of the Saints. That's the big thing here right now. And uh, so game five, everything's on the line. The next five minutes are going to determine who's going to be eight and two and who's going to be seven and three. Well, we hope game five. You know, these these games have been close. We, we could see an overtime or something. And I mean, I, I'm surprised we haven't seen it already as both teams have been playing great offense and defense. And I mean, I've said earlier in pre-show, uh, I want to see game five or I, I was expecting game five and here we are. So, and it's anybody's game now. It's win or lose right here, right now. So you definitely want to try something. Don't let them get the double touch as I believe that was Stokely had a huge double touch and I think it was on net. Yeah, so here we go. 0-0. Zero, zero. Scoreline still in effect, but some great opportunities already starting us off. Great shot there from Spoods. Not going to go. Rebound going to be trying to get played from comp, but also will not go. Uh, first minute of play has been burned off the clock here now, as uh, this is still a scoreless game. 0-0 zero, zero apiece, but some great opportunities all around, as I was saying. And comp looking to make one of his own right now. Yeah, well, trying to there. Spoods committed to that a little too low, but it's still mid and Saints trying to get that pressure on. That's going to drop in front of the net. Jay's going to get a shot, but a big save by Froze, I believe that was. So huge save to keep this tied, and they're going to try and reverse this and put some offensive pressure on Saints. Yeah, I mean, every single game that has been on this Saints channel lately has been absolutely crazy, and uh, the trend is just keeping up. 
your St. Clair Saints and the Seton Hall uh, University squad are just battling right now. Uh, still a 0-0 scoreline two minutes in, and this is not surprising at all. We've seen low scoring games throughout this whole series already, and the trend is just continuing. The Saints, they've been a little bit more dominant in the one one goal games though, right at uh, the last two. And uh, I mean, let's see if that keeps up. We're about halfway through this game almost now, and we're still scoreless. Yeah, definitely something I, I, I'm as expecting. I think this is only going to be, again, a one or two goal game, but it takes a while as the passes from Spoods to Comp and trying to center that, but not quite there as I, he's going to center that for Seton Hall trying to get something started. But again, it's back and forth game a lot. And we, we did see that last game. It was a midfield battle and whoever won the midfield battle took advantage of that and puts it away. But the Saints are looking better than they did all series long and maybe try to get something started. as Nobody's in net, but comp not there to put that away yeah there's a nice shot from jay just a little high on that one and one thing i've noticed is these saints haven't been utilizing the backboard as much as i think they would and uh but the thing is is seton hall they're not really defending it either I i've kind of realized that here in the past couple games and uh you know that might be an option here for the saints if it comes down to it however seton hall is playing these rebounds very well and not allowing the saints to take advantage of them so uh, it goes a little bit of both ways there, but the time is just still ticking. Like we could literally see a zero zero over time. We could definitely, that's one thing that we could definitely see. And as I say oh, that, it's a huge goodness. shot on net. And a huge just demo. Wide. And a huge demo. Nobody's <gasps> back for the Saints as I say that comp. Oh my goodness. Gets back just in time as pros. Gets a quality shot on goal. And the pressure from Seton Hall right now is really good as another shot on goal but a big save and we're back in saints end seton hall definitely wants a goal here yeah they're putting a lot of pressure on and making me very concerned here for the saints but it looks like they got the situation under control it's just every time they clear it there is someone from seton hall just waiting in their end ready for that clear and just gonna send it right back into saints territory it's really hurting the saints here now but i think with comp getting on the aggro here a little bit maybe with scoots behind them it can change things around we are under a minute remaining the saints still fighting for a goal and same with seton hall uh, both teams just absolutely battling between things right now, and uh, the, the time is just still ticking and ticking. I'm going to have to honestly say next goal wins this. I mean, obviously it's not locked in, but uh, from the way things are going, next goal really looking like it's going to win this. I've said this, and every cast I've said the last probably four casts, it doesn't get closer than this. The final 30 seconds of regulation is here, and we are tied at zero apiece. Both teams are playing great. Saints win that 50-50, but Seton the demo. does get the demo, and they're going to try and get something here. Try to get something started. 15 seconds left. Yeah, so, I mean, overall, this does look like a final opportunity for the Saints. Never mind. It's going to be Stokely putting it above, and Froze is there to intercept that. That might be an opportunity. That is bouncing all around. The Saints just say, get this out of here. There's no time left. Go to overtime. Reset the ball. And there it is. Your St. Clair Saints. Your Seton Hall University. We are going to overtime right here, right now. Game five, everything on the line for CCA seating. Uh, next goal going to cause a riot. Yeah, I, well, you said this earlier, 0-0 zero, zero overtime. I was not expecting it, but again, this, this is close, man. This is as close as you can get. We could see, like we've seen last time, maybe a five-minute overtime maybe a minute over time it all depends on how the defense plays and the quality shots as that's a quality demo there but again clearing the saints cleared it needs to get it out again jay losing that 50 50 but trying to get something started out front jay's there again to clear it yeah, the Saints really do need to put this on the offensive, though. That is one thing. Seton Hall has really had a lot of time on the offense here lately and it's making me very concerned for the Saints. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I can only imagine they're having a heart attack right now. Every shot that comes through, and there's another one, and you, just do, not, you do not want to let these shots even come onto the net at this point in time. You need to get this one out. But it is nearly impossible right now as Seton Hall has literally trapped this one in Saints territory. And uh, nothing can happen about it. That is just dribbling over. Spoons It's just so close, but yet so far away. Great effort, but nothing going to go. We are going up roughly seven minutes scoreless here now. Yeah, and I mean, both teams had their opportunities in overtime. 
and both of them very, very close as I think Saints do have a little bit of a boost advantage. Gets a flip reset, but cannot make contact with the ball. Spoods trying to get keep the ball in the offense, trying to get something started, and Deaton gets it clear. And I mean, I don't know. I honestly have no idea who's going to win this game and what's going to happen, but it's definitely we could see an, uh, we could see another five minutes in overtime who knows oh no froze if froze won that 50 50 on comp that's going to be one for the side of seton hall and that's going to be the series in their favor as we were saying you're just tuning in next goal wins this series and a big series as well at that uh all the pressure on the line right now and both teams having great opportunities we're gone scoreless for roughly eight minutes here now the time just keeps on ticking Comp with a shot, a little high spoods, playing for the rebound, not gonna go. Jay does not want to commit to that ball until there is somebody on defense ready to play it. And that is exactly what he does. Now Comp looking to put this one on the offense of his own. That is a beautiful shot net. The devil's in. He's falling up. He scores. Comp shoots and scores. That is gonna be your St. Clair Saints coming out on top after eight minutes of scoreless play. Comp. Playing a phenomenal fake on the defender there. And that is going to be a St. Clair win. Advancing them to 8-2 and two in the CCA regular season. Oh my. The fake. Just put it away. One goal game. Wow. Again, I don't know what you can ask for from either team. That was phenomenal. And I, I just don't know. We, uh, this is the second time I've seen. I've casted a reverse sweep. And I don't know. Both teams played amazing, and this is this is what you get from both teams. Seton, the defense from Seton was unbelievable throughout the whole series. One and two, especially game one and two, especially they've had some of the best saves I've ever seen in Rocket League. Yeah, I, I'm a loss for words. Seton Hall, amazing. You know, cannot give them like any sort of flack there for what they just put on, any the performance they put on. Um, they in overtime, they won their time of possession by a long shot. Like by a long shot. They were constantly keeping that in Saints territory constantly applying the pressure they had it locked in they played a literally brick wall defense the saints were firing and firing and firing away and they got what five goals all series we just won a game five series of like five six goals in the whole series like th th there was like nearly next to nothing minimal there we just went nine minutes of play with one goal scored i mean overall this matchup was probably one of the best cs go oh my god best rocket yeah. league matches that i've ever seen actually put on showcase i mean a huge shout out to both teams for really entertaining all of us and us viewers as well, and you viewers as well. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best games that I've casted from uh, from both teams. I mean, both defense like they both had their opportunities in overtime that were so close on the line, and both got denied. And then Saints finally put it away and give them the series. And I mean, this is huge for the standings as. They move up to eight and two with the record, I do believe. So going into tomorrow, I believe tomorrow that it will be broadcasted on the CCA channel. And that should be another game as we can take a look at the streaming schedule right here. Yeah, so to start us off, we got uh, Wednesday 8 p.m. EST. That is tomorrow. That is going to be us against Northwood University on College Carball. I believe that is Northwood White. And uh, no, then on August the 14th, the Saturday at 12 p.m., we do have some CCA Summer Series playoffs. And then the following Sunday, August 15th, Rock League as well, CCA Summer Playoffs. That is if the gold roster continues to make it far enough to go on to that Sunday day and play on the CCA stream. Uh, finally, now August 19th, Thursday, 8 p.m., Fortnite, something we haven't seen in a while on Play Versus. So make sure you tune in for that one. It's been a long time coming. And then finally, August 21st, Saturday, 12 p.m. EST, we got some more Rock League in the OCRS action. And uh, that's the schedule here. We got a lot of Rock League. We got a Fortnite, some new title in there, a lot of CCA, a lot of playoffs. Uh, very excited for that to all come through. But um, overall, I mean, I am just so hyped up here right now. It's getting close to my bedtime, and I am just not going to happen. It's like I just chugged a coffee or something. And uh, man, oh man, what a game. Both teams putting on an absolute performance. Yeah, that's just absolutely insane. And, you know, I won't be here this weekend for uh, the two tournaments or the tournament. 
Um, but I'm, I'll be on the mic next week and possibly Fortnite. I'm not 100% sure. I'll talk to uh, our production, Danners, Mr. Danners there, and uh, we'll, we'll see. But again, congratulations to the Saints and Saint, Seton Hall. That's just absolutely insane. And uh, I definitely think they'll win tomorrow if they play yes. tomorrow. So I think that is going to be it for us all tonight, everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We would not be able to do all this without you guys. So thank you once again. Um, what an absolute banger of a game. My name is Jackson of Pride Brown. Joined alongside Nicholas Kermit Malosh. You are watching some CCA group stage in the final week. St. Clair Saints Gold versus Seton Hall University. Your St. Clair Saints will come out on top in a 3-2 series fashion. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll catch you all on the next one.